Hey guys, uh, welcome to Retrograde, where we're ranking Atari 2600 games. Uh, this week we're doing Activision titles uh, from the year 1980 to 1981. So this is our first uh, video where we're ranking non-Atari released games. For the 2600. For the 2600. And it's Activision was the first uh, third party to come out. And so uh, it's kind of interesting to see how they change from, from being at Atari. All the guys that formed Activision actually came from Atari. So it's kind of a, it's basically an offshoot, obviously not related to Atari, uh, but they wanted to do their own thing. And as far as I know, it's the first third party um, video game manufacturer because in general, in general, because mm. back then, you know, the, yeah. before then, uh, you know, we really only had things like the Magnavox Odyssey, which they made, they published all their own games. So this was mm. like really the, the start of the third party. And what's also interesting is it's Activision, a, you know, name that is still relevant today. Um, and they own so, uh, World of Warcraft. Yeah, now. They, they own lots of stuff. Um, funny enough, their logo is still the same, yeah. which is, which is solid crazy. Logo. It is a solid logo, but it's just funny to me that that they've uh, had that longevity. They, you see, they're the only company that I respect in that, uh, uh -huh. at least for logos. Uh -huh. They're the only ones that were like, this is recognizable and memorable. Yes. Thusly, we don't know. If it ain't broke, don't, don't fix it. We don't really need to update it. Exactly. Before. No. So it is interesting going back and looking at these games. It's like, yeah, this came out in 1980. Yeah. You know, 43 years ago. Yeah. Um, wow. So, yeah, I know. Putting it in perspective, 43 years ago. Dang. All right. Let's, uh, let's start this off. I'm going to go first this time. Okay. So we got boxing. Um, so boxing, you know, one of the first titles uh, for the the you know Activision twenty six hundred. So we're you know going to go nineteen eighty and then nineteen eighty ones. And um, so we were comparing, you know, on the stream we compared it with real sports boxing. And granted, real sports boxing came out in eighty seven, way later, way later. Uh, so the you know the, it's not a fair comparison really. Um, not that the the Atari one was that much better, but I feel like it did. That, that's the thing. Add some. I think that's the thing that's interesting, and is uh, in talking about the promise that Activision is laying down in these mm -hmm. early years. It's not that much worse than a game that came way later. That's true. Like it's not that big of a jump. I don't think there's. It, it was what like a seven year gap between yeah, this. Yes. And real sports. It doesn't feel like there was seven years of refinement from the boxing here. Graphics wise, yeah. Graphics wise, sure, but yeah. like as a game. Yeah, the, the, I think the biggest problem with it is the fact that, that you really only have one button. And it's really hard unless you go into like a technical thing of like push button, move a direction, push button. And that wouldn't work in an action game. Um, Not in that kind yeah. of a boxing game. Um, I am probably going to give it. I'm gonna give it a B. I feel like for boxing. It, it was a B for boxing. There we go. Um, I thought it was it was good. I don't know what they could have done to make it better. I do think that the the real sports boxing does have an advantage with the uh, the ability to have a, the other plane because it's isomorphic view. Yeah, and this is top down. So I'm uh, gonna give it a solid C. Okay. Not to dismiss it, it's just one of those games where. Even though it wasn't that much worse than, uh, mm -hmm. you know, or it wasn't that much less technically impressive. Worse right. is, I think, kind of a right, kind of a sticky word. I, I don't mean to say that it was bad. Uh -huh. It's just definitely one of those where I wouldn't be coming back to this one. Sure, probably. So Fair enough. I'm gonna put it in C just because I don't see myself returning to it. Sure, sure. That that's a valid metric. Okay, so bridge. Bridge is an interesting one because I don't know how neither, to play of us, neither one of us know how to play bridge. And I didn't really want to spend the time to learn on stream. Here's the thing, it is a complicated game. Yeah. Uh, a friend of mine, his dad really loves bridge and he was trying to explain it to him and it, it didn't stick. So uh, it's one of those things that that's about all the knowledge I have of bridge. Uh, apparently it's a trick taking type of card game. Um, the problem is with ranking this, we could uh, just be playing Old Maid. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, and uh, let's go. God, for me, I, I'm going to have to give it a D just because I, I can't really rank it. I mean, I guess this would be a cool one of a, an A uh, just because we couldn't really play it. In uh, some ways. I, mean, I, I, will, I will give my criticism of it down mm -hmm. here. 
I'm still gonna give it a D, largely because we didn't play it and it's like, you know, not to say it's actually a D, but the things that I didn't like about it are just the fact that when it, it, poker is a little complicated, but it's not super hard. Like you're trying to mm -hmm. line up numbers. When it comes to a game that is this complicated, when you have to rely on people either reading the manual, which also I, I do, we don't, we didn't necessarily look it up, but mm. it's entirely possible that the manual does not explain bridge in the kind of play depth. bridge. That's what the, the yeah. <laughs> Here's how you do the things, but it's like, what are those things? It might not explain right. it because right. they yeah. just assume you know how to play bridge. If you know, you why are you bridge. buying this game? Yes, if you don't know how to play. So it's one of those where without the capability to have a system to explain yeah. how bridge works. I, I just think the 2600 was the wrong place for it a game have been this made, complicated. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm shouldn't saying. Have been made. That's, Didn't need. Yeah. Shouldn't have been. Right. Okay. Not my favorite. Next up is Checkers. The better so, Checkers. I yeah, guess. it is a better Checkers. Video Checkers came out before it. They've definitely improved on it. The, ha the fact is that having the round Checkers adds a lot. I mean, the game is still essentially the same. Uh, there's no real difference there, just the graphics. Slight um, better sound design. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna probably give it uh, probably a B because, well, it's still checkers. I mean, I don't really see myself playing checkers. It's kind of... If I'm gonna play checkers, yeah. I'm not gonna say that I wouldn't play a 2600 yeah. version of checkers. All right. I also just don't have checkers readily available normally, <laughs> but that's a now problem. Right. But I, I definitely could play it other ways. I think I would prefer to in many instances, but I wouldn't mind coming back to this one. Fair enough. It, over video checkers, especially. Yeah, I, there's we are, clear, yeah. clearly better, uh, you know, than I think was, did they have round, they did have round pieces, but it was top down. There was no details on them on video checkers. And where this actually had like an isometric view. Uh, and actually they looked like checkers. And maybe I'm wrong. So I'll, you know, I'll put this here. If, uh, if you pull up footage of video checkers and just put it right there next to this game, it, I just like looking at this one better from what I remember. Having maybe I'm wrong. Better. Maybe yeah, I'm having wrong, the but... graphics definitely helps, so. All right, Dragster. Dragster. This okay. is a special case. I, this is interesting. I really like Dragster. I feel like it is one of those because it is one of those games that is ex insanely hard to master because I mean, it really, the reflexes on it and just getting the timing right is, is critical to be able to get a high score. Um, there's no real slop. You have to be perfect on the, the thing. And it may be that our controls may not be the best way. It may be something you need to play on the original hardware. With the joystick. Because yeah. here's the deal. There's, there's emulation involved. There's a controller that's not the native controller involved. It may be that in order to get the high score on that, we have to have the best. When you're fighting for tenths game. of a second. Yes, it really, really comes down to that. And I truly feel like Dragster is one of those that I could see absolutely playing. It's like, okay, you can only play two player, but all right, we're gonna, we're gonna see who's best at Dragster. And I want to get that Dragster patch. Yeah, there you go. The, the patches that, that was, to be honest, the idea of, of, of that was just spot on. That was just cool. Uh, you know, I had a reason for getting a high score. Not just to beat your friends, but if you could get the patch. You could mail it in and yes. actually get something, yes. which is really cool. Um, I'm gonna give it an A because okay. I did have fun with it. I would definitely revisit it. I don't think it would uh, hold my attention for exceptional lengths of time. What well, if somebody got a better score than you and you had to beat them? And you I had just to beat had him. to beat I him. just had to do it. I know you're super competitive, so I'm incredibly I mean, competitive. So I, I kill the guy right then and there, <laughs> burn his copy of Dragster, yeah, exactly. and uh, send send the picture to Activision. We'll let them know. It'd be, be funny. Warned. It'd be funny. You do like you'd do a tournament, a Dragster tournament. Uh, sure, yeah. But the, the cool thing is, you'd be over and like it'd be like over in like 15 minutes. Yeah, it'd be a very quick <laughs> tournament. Because it's like, all right, you, you get three tries. If you do that at like a convention, you'd only need to rent the room for 30 minutes. Yeah, there you're done. But it'd be cool because then you could bring people in and like have people just keep uh, funneling in. That'd be, that'd be cool. And anyway. yeah. All right. So let me, let me do that. Fishing so. Derby. Yeah. Fishing Derby. Um, 
I liked the idea of it. I really liked the water on it. That was neat. The water was cool. Um, the graphics were simple, but effective. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, getting the fish and you kept kicking my ass on that game. I, I don't know what you were doing. You were using special bait or something. I, 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 uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a B. Uh, it, it is, I think truly, I don't know what they could have done better. Um, but, uh, it was, it was, it was fun. I think the only things I would say, it is definitely a B for me. I mm -hmm. love fishing yeah, in general. Right, right. We talked a lot about fishing mini games. Yeah, this yeah. is obviously a dedicated fishing game, yeah. so it in some ways loses points, ironically. Right, but right. Uh, no, in all seriousness, though, I think the only little things were giving the fish different... Uh, in a lot of games that are of this style, like mobile games or smaller computer games that uh -huh. came out in the 90s, 2000s, it really could have made the fish different to show that they yeah. were worth different point values. Because, uh, you know, you can do the... Risk versus reward. Yeah. Yeah. That sort of thing. Good point. You, at first, you don't know. So you're just yeah. going for any of the fish. Yeah. That makes sense. I, I like and, that. And so that's one way they that's could a, that's a That's a minor thing they could have done. But yeah. All in all, all, in all decent game. It's solid. Yeah. It, it, uh, it's not... It's an early game. So, you know, it's it came out, you know, the first year. So... Um, so yeah, it's, it's good. Okay. Freeway. Um, so freeway is, I, I, I like freeway. I'm, I'm, it's not an S tier for me just because it's, it is still pretty simple. Uh, but the, the, you know, with the different variations on how fast those cars get going. The way they speed yeah. up and slow down is also interesting. I've never yeah. really seen that in one right. of these Atari games. Right. I really like the graphics. I like the color on the, it's obvious that these are cars. You know, in the past we've you know seen graphics that are like, I guess that looks like a car. No, these look like cars, they it, look like trucks. They, they look like chickens. Yeah, exactly, they look like chickens. Um, I feel like they, they did a great job with it even though it was a super simple idea. You know. my, my biggest issue with it was just, uh, as much as it was unique from Frogger because you can't move side to side, and in some ways that is awesome. That That is, you know, that they're distinguishing themselves. It is themselves. its own thing. I, I yeah. would say it's, it's Frogger-esque. But I will say, I do like it that you can move side to side in Frogger. It, it gives would, it a, gain? would you gain a lot by having that ability? The, here's, here are the two things I you're think. You're not going to outrun some of those fast cars. Here are the game design <laughs> elements I think that that would change. Uh, that, that would give it better game feel, in my opinion, from a, a design standpoint. Game feel, wow. That I, I, I'm not an expert on these things. Uh -huh. This is just my opinion. One, in those moments where you're waiting, the ability to move left and right would give you even the illusion that you had the ability to stop that from happening. <laughs> sure. In those instances, there was this innate feeling. I, you know, I know myself well enough to push past it and realize, no, I just was should have waited or gone at a different time. Sure. But there was that innate feeling of give you something to do. Game. game As opposed to yeah. just sitting there. Yeah. It was also like game screwed me over. If I could have yeah. been moving right, I would have. <laughs> you know, so even done. though it might have screwed you over. Because you're not actually going to gain anything. Not necessarily. Having the illusion of choice. It gives you the ability to think <laughs> that way. And sometimes yeah. it will. You know, yeah. there are rare occasions where if you have good reflexes, it could really pay off. And then it's less of an illusion of choice. The problem, and though, it, I see with that is, is uh, you know, being able to go side to side, is if it's two player... Yeah, if it's one player, that makes sense because you can go the whole screen. Yeah, if they are going to do a run. I mean, I guess, I guess you could overlap each other and then have a, a yellow chicken and a white chicken. Yeah, or something. something like that. And then there you are, could see who's who's. Who. And, and the second thing, just being that, um, yeah, what you were saying, it yeah. just it gives you something to do in that dead time of right. like. It, there are moments where waiting in video games can be fun, but there are also moments where it's just like, I just feel like I need, especially as kinetic. You do something. Yeah. yeah. This is a very kinetic. You yeah. were moving the whole time. Good game. Just gotta get, gotta give it a B because of that. Fair enough. Okay. Ice, co ice hockey. Uh, you know, we saw the wonderful commercial. Ice coffee. Ice coffee. That's a whole other thing. Um, 
That's a very chill game. <laughs> just like, just, just sit there and just drink coffee. <laughs> now, uh, ice hockey uh, with that awesome commercial with uh, Phil Hartman, you know, ripping off his clothes, getting all crazy. Yeah, just throwing yeah. stuff and yeah. being like, yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, yeah. I thought it was, it was good. Um, I'm not sure what they could have done to do so better. Ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a B because, I don't know. I just, I felt like it was, it, it was kind of fun it wasn't super fun i mean they did have stuff in there where you could like you know the the body checking and stuff that was that was cool definitely it was also yeah. difficult to really pull off though and yeah. though useful if you were sending it to the other side mm -hmm. like if if it was your goalie that got knocked down sure very inconsequential because right. he'll get up by the time it's his turn to stand sure, up again sure. it's it's got it's got flair it yeah. had it was solid for a four-person hockey game, I sure, guess. Sure, sure. That's and that's, it. It's limited. That's, I think, part of the problem is. And, you know, would it would it be better if it had more? I think that would it be better is if the, the if it had, like, the scrolling kind of thing. Like, you scrolling, know, obviously, yeah. obviously this is an early game. This is this Yeah, is I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to yeah. talk too much schmack. I'm putting it in B yeah. because of that. But I, I think it showed a lot of potential for what the, uh, an ice hockey game could be. Right. I don't believe we played any ice hockey no, games. No, I don't think there was a hockey so game. So I, that's interesting. They they went, well, Atari has done all these other games, so let's do hockey, you know. Surprised they didn't with all their real sports. For real. Ball. There were so many. For so real, it's a, <laughs> for real sports <laughs> uh -huh. by today or right. or uh, that tall guy is going to really beat you <laughs> yeah, up. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I think it's interesting that they filled that niche, Yeah. which was cool just yeah. because good okay. of them to look for the gap instead of right. tennis later on where they, yeah. there were other tennis games. Yes. Okay. Moving on to Kaboom. Uh, Kaboom, uh, it's a solid title. I I think the biggest problem with playing it the way we did is the controls. Really, if you had a solid spinner, that game is is really good. It gets hard, but it is it is a good game. I, I and I don't think we saw any other games other than like what Gremlins, but that came out way later. Oh yeah, way later. Um, where you're. Go yeah, back yeah, and forth but going it. back and forth and, and finding something that's falling. Also, the uh, yeah. the uh, Big Bird game, I guess. Yeah, Big Bird is the same way, but both of those came out before after this. So this was kind of set the bar. It really kind of invented the, the genre. Now, I know there was a game called Avalanche that came out and it might have been an arcade game so that that might have came out uh before before then uh fact checkers definitely uh l let me know on that one fact check fact, fact checkers check us check us really it's like suckers but check us check us okay um i was telling uh, them to check us but check yeah us. You oh, check us check us anyway uh on on kaboom or on, on if, if uh avalanche i believe is an arcade game uh, so it, it's very possible that it, that it came out before then. Uh, there were a lot of Atari titles that came out before, like, the golden age of the arcade. Sure, so, yeah. So, like, a lot of the games, the original 2600 games, like, things like the uh, combat was Tank, I think. There, there were a, they had a sure, there were there a few in there. That, that a lot of them were black and white, and they were really kind of... Janky. Not, yeah, not... not it was really kind of the proto, you know, uh, before like the 2600 kind of time frame. But anyway, solid game, uh, still yeah. with, the, with the proper controls. I agree. Yeah. Throwing it in a, uh, yeah. I had a good time with it, definitely. It, it's the kind of game I could see just having fun with over yeah. time. Um, yeah. It also, bringing you back to a fishing minigame, mm -hmm. weirdly, in Jack and Daxter, the precursor legacy on the PS2, there's a fishing minigame that is basically this, where the fish are coming down the river and you have a net that you have to catch. Ah, them interesting. So yeah, so that's the thing. They invented, or no, they, they may not have, but the Kaboom was definitely they popularized, popularized it, yeah. at least on the 26th so. so, very cool. All right, Laser Blast. Um, I like it. Um, I kind of feel like... I, I I like it, but I don't love it. It I think because it needed more. I felt like it was pretty repetitive. Um, yeah, I know some of these other games are repetitive too, but I feel like because it's shorter, it's a little slower paced. It, it kind of needed like I don't know another boss. Maybe it does. We haven't gotten there yet. But it just like it's just more screens and more screens and just doing the same thing over and over. It uh, it really it didn't feel. 
as, as good as, as it could have been. Anyway. Sure. I'm going to put that one in a, I think, okay. uh, a low A. Because I really like the visuals of it. Mm -hmm. The lasers are really cool. The, the lasers did, are the lasers very are good, cool. yes. Uh, the fact that you can, like, get shot down and take one of your enemies that with is, you. That is nice. It's a unique thing. That is, that's yeah. not really in yeah. any other game on the 2600 that yeah. I can think of. Yeah. Uh, and if you go up into those higher modes, it gets really fast. True, true. So there's, there's a variety there. I do think you're right, though. I was given that same criticism. My biggest one is just... It's just the same three tank guys. It's yeah. there. I, w I don't know if there's to more be fair, later. There's probably more later on. Very well could be. Uh, yeah. But when you're just trying to get into it, it mm -hmm. it's difficult that the repetitiveness is so front facing. Sure. If sure. there is different stuff later. I like the fact that it was uh, not your typical. Typically, you know, like if you look at Missile Command, this is sort of the inverse of Missile Command. That's in true. A way. There's also and, that. Yeah, in that, you know, normally you're trying to shoot the aliens, and on this case, you're the alien trying to shoot the humans, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of thought that because I mean they did a flying saucer. I when mean, I that's saw like the, the typical alien thing. When I yeah. saw the lasers in the little uh, box uh, art and everything. Uh, I thought it was going to be their Missile Command, right, but it, right. it is not, and that's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's neat. It's turning turning that genre on its head. Okay, skiing. Um, I I like skiing. Skiing, I think they did a great job with it, especially when you get into the higher levels. Like if we get the you know the patch you know levels that you needed, uh, it, it absolutely with the higher speed made a, a big difference. Now I would say that it would have been good if they had had it so that the button would make you go faster or maybe slower or something. That it would really just seem like you were just turning. They could have added more dynamics to it. However, just having it left and right still was, was a lot of fun. I'm gonna put it um, there in B. Mm -hmm. It is a lot of fun. It is, you know, as you get higher up, the speed helps, definitely mm -hmm. makes it more, more enjoyable. Right. But I, I just think there's something missing for me there. Uh, it's a very simple game. I liked it. I don't have a lot of criticisms of it. It just didn't grab me very deeply. Sure. Other than the fact that I want to get a patch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and to be honest, you know, it's like not that, that you know, we're at a point of like with Activision giving us patches, but that'd be awesome because they're still there. It's like, oh, yeah. could you imagine like if, you if they still in, had yeah. honored that, that would be hilarious. There, I, yeah. There's almost no way, but I wonder if I just print out a Polaroid. <laughs> just, yeah, there you go. A Polaroid. There you go. Um, but uh, yeah, it would be, I, you know, I mentioned this on the stream, but apparently some people are, are, are making it so that you can send them the score and get a patch, which I just think that's cool. I think that is cool. Yeah. Um, okay. Stampede. Um, I, I I like Stampede. I I gotta give it. I gotta give it an A. Oh man, I'm gonna give it a high A. I I thought it it was um, a lot of fun, especially since the you know the the different you know cattle are random. Yeah, uh, yeah, it had the way a they're lot positioned. going on. It had definitely a lot going on. Um, I would and, I would I would agree with that. Yeah. Stampede was. It was cool. It's yeah. a unique experience. Yeah. It's not really quite like a lot of the other ones also. Yeah. That's the thing. Is it, it It's filling its own niche, which I really like for a lot Inventing of these. Inventing its own. Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, a, a cattle rustling game, you know. Uh, it's, it's got <laughs> something to it that other yeah. Atari releases really didn't. No. Um, I think that's cool. Yeah. I mean, in my mind, I, I don't know why the you know, steeplechase comes to mind, but it's like you're racing versus, you know. Yeah, you're, you're racing. you're still riding a horse, but. Sure, but yeah. steeplechase was also more jockeys. The yeah. Western theme yeah, here. Know. The only other Western game I can think of was Outlaw. that. Outlaw. Outlaw, yeah. Yes. And then you're just shooting each other uh, in front of like a infinitely right. rotating pillar right. occasionally. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Not very Western-y, really. Right, exactly. All right, last one. Tennis. Um, I think tennis, yeah, you know, we, we played tennis for how long? We played it like for like a half hour or something. We played it for a while. We didn't do yeah. much. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, I'm going to have to give it a C. I, I know the, the Atari one came out later. We, we compared it on the stream. The, the Atari one is worlds better than the Activision it's one. It's a world apart, yeah. But this was 81. They had a lot of time to get better. Uh, yeah, um, I'm not going to tell them that they're bad for Yeah, them. yeah. I, I feel like it was... It just... 
One of the problems is the fact that in, in both of these games, you don't have to hit the, the thing. You just have to just hit it with your character, which was a little odd. Um, you just have to run into it. Yeah. And um, it was, but it was... It was slow. Uh, yeah, it was slow. And you could now just... granted there are probably different variations in we my went, speed up. But we you know we, we went through the three and then oh, the that's four right, one, yeah, so. that'll be those would be the, the, the single player versions. Um so we played yeah, the, the version yeah, yeah. that we had, so it was it was slow. Yeah, and, and it, you could get locked. We, yeah. We played it for thirty minutes, but we probably only moved the controllers for ten. Yeah, we just chatted for half of it. Um it's it was okay. That was my thought. And it sounds like you're probably. In the I, I'm boat. in a very similar boat where tennis is the some of the least of this. Uh, I would say, other than bridge, which just is kind of like shouldn't have been here in a lot of ways, yeah. kind of a deal. I think tennis just is where they fumbled the most. They had a really good starting lineup for their first yeah. year, and I think tennis is just something that they thought they had to do. Well, I feel like it was the. This is one of those cases where they just throw a bunch of stuff on the board, and and it's just like, you know, obviously the the ones that that I like the most are the ones that are are unique, are are exclusive. Their own experience. Yeah. Dragster, Kaboom, Stampede, Freeway. Those are all their own thing. They're not trying to copy anything else. Um, and it looks like looking at yours, you get the similar they're, thing. They're original. Yeah, the originals, and, and that's really, I think, where Activision really shines uh, in, in this time. And I think the problem was that there was a lot of holdover from the way Atari made games. I think that they just went, they well, came over is and there they, a tennis game? Yeah. Is there a hockey game? No, let's make a hockey game rather than we coming out with originals. Yeah, we could yeah. probably make a slightly better checkers game. Yes. It's just, they. Yeah. some of these ones were clearly, uh, we need something to come out while we're getting going. Yeah, and, and there's not a tennis game yet, and I guess bridge is a thing. Let's. Yeah, and I, I, I can only think of like someone going, you know what? There isn't a game of bridge, and you know what? I don't think there's really been another game of bridge that no. I know of. I mean, of course, in the computer world, but on the, like the consoles, I mean, I'm bringing it. You're I'm bringing, bringing it you're back. Making, you're making. I'm gonna a make a game crazy for the PS5, a PS5 yeah. bridge game that has a really deep story and like all wow. sorts of characters yeah. <laughs> and you experience all of them through the lens of bridge. <laughs> okay. You, you go. Let's do it. We should have got to learn bridge. I have and no there's, idea there's how to book. play bridge. There's but. a book and I've heard it's like a book like this of, of bridge. I see. It's one of those things that I there's will. all these opening hands, all these things that I know there's, there's stuff. I, you know, forgive my ignorance, but I will, I know there's some stuff. I will to for throw bridge. a game design document at someone who knows there how to go. play bridge. Yeah. All you have to do is implement bridge. That's there what you, you put on the, the type paper. Yeah. You'll type it. That makes it look more efficient. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so that's actually the end of this. What I, what I want you guys to do, though, is if you ever got an Activision patch, leave us comments below. Oh, that yeah. Would be, that'd be really awesome. Please do. And, what you, and, and what you got it in. Uh, I would love to see, because uh, it'd be really cool to go back through some of these games and really actually try to get, like, the patch. You yeah. Know? So. And uh, so, yeah. So I think that's all we have. Uh, I think so, so for today. Uh, see you in the next adventure. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. I post new videos all the time and I wouldn't want you to miss any. If you'd like to see more of this series, be sure to click up here. And if you'd like to see something else, be sure to click up here.